Hello, my name is Leah, and this is going to be an introduction to my first IVF cycle. Today is Saturday, April 4th, 2015, and I just wanted to give you a brief background and explain why I have chosen to try IVF. My channel first started when I started trying to conceive with my husband Adam in uh, November 2013 and we actually met in June of 2012 and we weren't actively trying at that time but yeah we weren't doing a very good job of preventing anything. Got married, started uh, thinking about you know when we wanted to try. We both decided to go to our general practitioners and have physicals and uh, we were both in excellent health, everything checked out normal. So we started in November to try naturally, and in February of 2014 I had a chemical pregnancy. Mm. I went to my GP during that time, and uh, she actually referred me to an endocrinologist because I had symptoms of um, hypothyroidism, and it turned out I did have a very mild case of hypothyroidism. That the endocrinologist was able to correct with Synthroid, and I still take that today. And in the summer of 2014, we decided to be referred to a, a specialist called a reproductive endocrinologist. We started doing intrauterine insemination with medication in September. Uh, we did one September, one October, and one in November, and all three of them failed. We tried Clomid and we tried letrozole and none of it worked. At that point we regrouped, this is in December of 2014, and we decided together that it was best if we just move on to IVF. We're lucky because my husband Adam's insurance is really awesome and covers IVF. The prescription drug, drugs are covered up to 75%, so we did pay out of pocket for that, a little over a thousand dollars. The cycle I'll be on is a Lupron cycle, it starts when you get your period. I was fortunate enough to get on the March cycle and just barely made the cutoff, like by a matter of days. So I'm really fortunate and that means I won't have to take the birth control for as long. So the birth control has been a little rough, so I've had the whole slew of side effects. Headaches, uh, nausea and queasiness, um, trouble sleeping, nervousness, restlessness, um, irritability, depression, weepiness, uh, just all that crap. Oh, Sunday the 5th of April, I will be starting my Lupron injections, and I have that medication here, Luprolide or Lupron, and I'll be taking, I think, 10 units of this um, subcutaneous injection in the belly, starting tomorrow along with the Lupron. For about a week I have to take doxycycline antibiotic, and my husband will also take doxycycline for eight days. And I will go in for my baseline ultrasound and initial blood work on the 16th of April, and if everything is suppressed and quiet, then I will begin my stimulation hormone, the FSH 225 units of folistim. This is the pen that you load. These are the syringe needle tops. They're going to be bringing me in for pretty constant monitoring every couple of days between the 16th and, you know, the 26th, which is their targeted egg retrieval date. And then they will give me the go-ahead to take my, um, my Avadryl and then one day of rest where I have no injections, which will be great, and then I'll go in the next morning or afternoon for the retrieval. Soon after the retrieval, I'll begin my progesterone in oil. That is intramuscular in the buttocks, and that uses the big, scary needle. So that's obviously the most dreaded part. I'll take that for five days and then I will be put on endometrin, which is progesterone via vaginal insert. That's what's going on. We will know whether it was a success around uh, the second week in May, just before Mother's Day. Um, last thing I wanted to mention was um, this beautiful red 
amaryllis flower here, or flowers I should say. My husband bought this um, amaryllis bulb, I'd say at the very beginning of March, in celebration of the fact that we were going to start IVF. And I was waiting to plant the bulb for when our IVF cycle actually started, to kind of have it coincide and, you know, the whole metaphor of fertility and the flower blooming and growing and all that good stuff. And this flower was just ready to go and wouldn't you know it was like forcing its way out of the box it was in. So my husband, you know, opened the box and it was already shooting up out of the bulb in the box. It hadn't even been planted in any soil yet. So we've got a very fertile flower right here. And I'm hoping that I will be as fertile as this beautiful amaryllis flower. So I will leave it at that. And I will come back here and give you updates along the way. Thank you all for following my journey. And take care.